Problem 24. Isosceles triangle ABC has equal side length with a of AB and BC. In the figures below, um, segments are drawn parallel to AC so that the shaded portions of ABC have the same area. The heights of the two unshaded portions are 11 and 5, respectively, unshaded regions rather. Um, what is the height H of triangle ABC? So they have the same height here, and we know that this is going to be equal. But what else do we know? We know that this shape right here is going to have a height of, of h minus 11. And we know that this height right here is going to have what? This height right here is going to have, um, by definition, h minus 5, right? If that's the case, then we basically already, solved the, basically already solved the problem. Why is that? Because let's assume that ac right here is equal to x. If that's x, then this is also x. Then now, what can we say? We can say here that the total area of ABC, right, the total area of ABC is equal to the height x times h divided by 2. And if we want to find the area of the shaded region, we simply have to subtract out the, the white region. But how do we do that, right? But to do this, we have to establish ratios. Because we know that this triangle is, is similar to this larger triangle from angle-angle similarity, right? Because this is this the same angle and this angle and this angle. So if we were to have this case, and, and this is to be 11, then that means this height, that this height, will form a proportion. It would be 11 over h, right? So that means if we take the square, we would get the ratio of their areas, which is 121 over h squared. So if the area of, I'll call this d, I'll call this e, if, if the area of b, d, e, compared to the area of a, b, c, is the same thing as 121 over h squared, then the area of b, d, e, Right? Or actually, we could just do ABC. No, no, BDE. The area of BDE is just going to be 121 over H squared times the area of ABC, which we already know to be XH over 2. So that means the H and H gets canceled, and we are left with uh, 121 times X over 2H. Right? That would be the area of BDE. If that's the area of BDE, then we know that the area of ADEC is going to be equal to, to XH over 2 minus 121X over 2H. So we have A, D, um, E, C down, and now we can just find the area of this one, which is going to be F, G, right? And, the, and the, we're going to scroll up a little bit, just a little bit, B. We're going to find the area of F, B, G. Well, to do that, it's the same process, right? We know that um, F, G, right, F, G, um, or actually not, we'll do height. The height of H minus 5 compared to H forms a ratio between the height and this height. So if we square that um, ratio, we get, the, we get the proportion of their areas, which is going to be equal to, if I square this, to be equal to the area of B, F, G over the area of A, B, C. So therefore, by definition, B, F, G right here will be equal to H minus 5 squared over H squared times the area of ABC, which is XH over 2. So the H and H gets canceled out once, and that's H minus 5 squared times X over 2H. And now we are ready. We are trying to find what is the height H. Well, we know that the shaded regions are equal in area. So XH over 2 minus 121X over 2H is equal to H minus 5 squared times X over 2H. Now, what we can do is we can multiply h on both sides, so we get x h squared over 2 minus 121x over 2 is equal to h minus 5 squared times x over 2. And now we realize that there's a 2 on everything, so we can just get that out. So x h squared, right, x h squared minus 121x is the same thing as h minus 5 squared times x. There's an x on everything, so let's get out the x. The x gets eliminated, this gets eliminated, and this gets eliminated. And we realize that all we're left with are a bunch of h's, which we can solve for. h squared minus 121 must be equal to h squared minus 10h plus 25. Therefore, the h squared and the h squared gets canceled. If I add 10h on both sides, 10h is going to be equal to 25 plus 121, which is going to be the same thing as 146. If that's 146, then h, by definition, must be equal to 14.6. And we are trying to find for or the height, so 14.6 is our answer, so answer choice A would be your final answer.